The Hood Canal Bridge is a floating bridge in western Washington, the Pacific Northwest portion of the United States. It connects the Olympic and Kitsap Peninsulas. It's also the third longest bridge in the world at 7,869 feet. Its design is referred to as pontoon or retractable bridge. Construction took almost four years and cost a whopping $26.6 million before the bill of the ferry system was in place. On February 12, 1979, high winds and high currents caused the bridge to sink into the Hood Canal. Fortunately, no one was injured or killed. Quilcene, Washington is the gateway to many of our family adventures. It's also home to one of the world's largest oyster hatcheries. It's a fairly small area with a population of just around 600 people. Quilcene oysters are named for the area. The Twana people, early inhabitants of the Skokomish, were mostly a peaceful group. They spanned the length of the Hood Canal and were comprised of many tribes. The Quilcene, or saltwater people, were a distinct band of these people. Quilcene is also part of the Olympic National Forest. A lot of roads in the Olympic Mountains just seem to go up and up and up. What are you doing, brave explorer? Aaron down. Smitty built. Auto tire deflation. It's pretty simple to use. Just thread it on like you can see here. I'll put the gauge here. Start unscrewing the valve stem. Air down to desired pressure. And stop it. Now it doesn't feel like it's out all the way. There's Jason. Hi. Gotta see the new toy. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Hang Dad. on, baby girl. I want an anarchy symbol on the dirt in the truck. Girl. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> no. You know why? Why? Because it scratches the paint and it'll be there forever. Ooh. I love the concept. You shouldn't do it on the paint job. Ooh, let's not do yeah. that. Just yeah. in case. Just in case. If the cops pull you over, you won't want to have anarchy symbols <laughs> by your dad's door. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's pretty nice. I'm glad I got this. <laughs> it's way faster than this. Oh, you'll be okay, little one. You'll be fine, baby girl. Alright, here we are. Found this awesome overlook. It's all cloudy and stuff down there, but should be really good views in the summertime. And letting the truck uh, cool off a little bit. is a really steep climb coming up. We're out here with Jason again in his 2006 Ram 1500. Found a cool little campsite. And this is uh, the very, very top where we came up. It is over here. That's the road we came up. We'll probably go back down that, eh, it doesn't look as steep on camera, of course, but it's a quicker way to go around. But nice little spot. People left some trash. Jason's picking it up. Got to be wise stewards of our uh, resources or we won't be able to use them. Yeah, that would be a really nice lookout. In summertime, it will be.
Alright, so we got to some pretty good snow, so I'm going to come up here and just keep an eye on Jason, make sure he's good with his turnaround right here. Hey, you're good. Good, alright. That's good enough. Yep. All right, stop. There you go. Yeah. All right, he's going to back up. I'll keep an eye on him up here. It's starting to get really slippery, and uh, we didn't want to slide off into that. So we figured, eh, let's just turn around and explore some other areas first. So we got Jason turned around. We're going to come up here and we're going to turn around and do our 50 million point turn and our horrible turning radius Super Duty. One of the negatives about a Super Duty. But uh, it's all good. It's what we got. We're making use of it and getting out and having fun, making memories. And this is an awesome trip so far. So let's get turned around. Oh. Well, I'll throw it at that bank over there, right there. Mabel, are you a puppy? Are you a puppy? You're loving it out here. She is loving it, having a great time. We just stopped here, um, grabbing a bite to eat. Um, I was just checking the transmission fluid on the truck because I recently uh, did the transmission service. So I just wanted to make sure the level was fine. It's all good. Um, we had to turn around back up there when there was some snow got really deep and nobody had been through it. So we uh, decided to turn around and find another track. So Jason's looking up right now to find another track. Yeah, I did, baby girl. This is where you don't care about your paint job. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd be really stressed if I cared about my paint job. Out of your This is a crazy spot. This is what we're going through today. Oh my gosh. Listen to that. Wow. Uh, my storage is full. <laughs> That's crazy. We're getting through it. We're going. And more of this. 
I am really glad that I don't care about the paint job. Oh, yeah, very good. Cool. Mm -hmm. What did you say? I don't know. I hope the view is worth the squeeze, I think you said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, when a tree is across the road, this is what you do. <laughs> All right, let me move out of the way a little bit more. Yeah, let me... Get out of the way here. I don't want to get hit by that thing. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That'll work. You got lots of room behind you. All righty, there we go. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Let's go check. Second attempt. Looks like it's going to work. There you go. Yep. That looks like it's pretty good out of the road. I think so. There we go. Problem solved. After all that work it took you to get up here, all oh, those really dense stuff we had to go through, this is what we come to. We were hoping for something beautiful. Um, yeah, not so much. It's just a berm and a complete dead end. The grade goes away and there's trees there. You can tell it didn't used to go any further. So it's just a dead end. That's all it is. After all that work, sometimes that's what you get. <laughs> sometimes you end up with nothing. But it's still beautiful and the journey was uh, worth it. So we're going to go see what else we can find. Hey, you, you didn't shake your head. <laughs> you didn't not. <laughs> so we decided to head back down and see what else we could find on the trip. Sometimes you find areas like that, it just doesn't work out. Sometimes you find beautiful scenery. You never know what you're going to find until you take all those side roads, explore all the areas, and check out everything. You never know. Sometimes it's a bus, sometimes it's amazing beauty. To my party, we're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Hand me a drink, cause I think I'm going on. Alright, we came down off the mountain, so now we're airing up. First real test of our uh, Vi Air air compressor. No, I didn't get it free. I paid for it with my own money. Plugged into that. One thing that's nice about having a diesel is the dual up the red tops. Until you go to pay for them, that is. But Jason's got his over here. What kind of air compressor you got? Old. Old? <laughs> Master Flow Omax. Master Flow Omax, okay. Cool. Airing up at the end of a good day. Good adventures were had by all, and we got back safe and sound. So now we just need to finish airing up, head back and get home and get to bed soon. Thank you guys very much for joining us. Hope you guys get out there. <laughs>